Speak Student. From the beginning of time, many men have sought the unknown, delving into dark regions where lie those truths which are destined to destroy. Frankenstein a la schmucks. Fate versus free will. Fate versus free will is one of these themes that pops up in so much literature, um, and it's really at the basis of a lot of, you know, Christian doctrine. Um, so let's take a look at Victor's name. Victor means, winner. you know, the winner, um, but it also sounds a little bit like victim. So hmm. the question is, is Victor a victim of, you know, fate? Was he destined to the, to the end that he had? or is he, does he come out victorious? Was, is he the one who is, you know, has the agency and makes the choices? Um, and then we ask the same thing of the monster, who, you know, again, we conflate with Victor, whereas this question of, kind of, it comes back to the tabula rasa question, whereas, you know, was he destined to be this way, or did he make these choices? Is Frankenstein's monster uh, a victim of Victor Frankenstein having abandoned him, or was it his own choice to kill all these people? You know, this is a question we can't answer. We can't get into Mary Shelley's brain and know exactly what she was thinking. Um, but one way that we can use the text um, to help us determine is if we look at the two different editions of the book, which we talked about way back at the beginning of the course, um, we have the 1818 edition and the 1831 edition. The last line of the 1818 edition has the characters uh, actively doing things, um, pushing themselves off of the raft, and Walton uses the word I and, you know, uses this kind of, um, we call it agency, the that the people are acting and actively doing something. In the 1831 version, not so much. Everything mm. passively happens to them at the end. Uh, so we kind of can see that maybe in the original version, Shelley did think, you know, it's these people or these characters' fault. They could have done something differently. They made these choices. Then, um, with the help of Percy, um, you know, who helped edit to the 1831 version, we end up with no, it's, it's, it's fate. They were destined to be this way and they, they couldn't have done anything differently. Um, if we're thinking biographically, again, we have the woman saying like, you know, in 1818 when she wrote it on her own, saying, you know, yes, we have, we have agency, we have free will, we can make changes. And then Percy comes along, helps out a little bit, and all of a sudden, you know, nope, whatever happens, happens. Uh, so there's a lot you can read into that. Interesting, okay. That was Frankenstein with Dr. Deb, PhD from Schmuck. What is fate? What is free will? Does Frankenstein take one side over the other? How has the message changed between the two editions of Frankenstein? Tales of Frankenstein.